Today is Tuesday and I thought of making a video for Design Tuesday. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to design this business card with Adobe Illustrator and it's going to be step by step. So watch this video till the very end. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So once you launch Adobe Illustrator, this is the screen you see and next thing you want to do is to create a new document. So once you click on create new, it brings up this dialog box. So what you're going to do is to click on print since you're actually making a design for print and it's going to be printed. Okay. So what we're going to do is to set our size, which we'll be using. And you know, the standard size for business card is 3.5 by 2 inches. So that's what we're going to use here. So I'm going to change my unit to inches and set it to 3.5 by 2 inches okay that's cool then you're going to give your file a name depending on what you want i'm going to save it as business card okay okay that's cool and then you set your color mode cmyk since it's actually for print but if you are making a digital print you can use rgb if it's going to be printed with a digital machine but generally i would like to use cmyk just to save myself from any trouble when it comes to printing then i'm going to set my raster effect to 300 ppi the highest standard for print okay then you once you're done with that leave every other thing at default and click on create and once you click on create it opens up this canvas where we are about to start working okay so i can zoom out to see my canvas very well and i need two canvas that i need two ads board you know your ads board is the spot where adobe illustrator gives you to make your design on so this is what we get and i'm going to set two ads boards for the front and the back complementary card okay so i'm going to press shift o on my keyboard to activate my ad board tool and if you don't get the shortcut your ad board tool is just right here so you can simply press or you click on your ad board tool to edit your ad board then just look right here and click on new ad board or you look at up here and click on new ad board and when you click on the plus icon you're able to get these two ad boards just like this which we are going to be designing on so let's start with the very first ad board once you are done with that you can always click on exit to exit your ad board editor okay so that is cool let's continue so first thing first i'm going to bring in the logo i have for this this is the brand i'm actually designing for so i'm going to drag and drop the logo on this page so once the logo appears it's actually a jpeg format so once an image comes into adobe illustrator it comes in this format and since we are actually working with adobe illustrator we have to embed so you click on embed to embed this image right here if you have watched my video on getting started with adobe illustrator you will understand what embed means okay so if you have not done that i'm going to leave a link in the description if you are getting started with adobe illustrator so you watch that and it saves you stress and saves you time to understand this okay let's continue so i'm going to hold shift and alt on my keyboard and reduce this this way place it on the page and you can scale it up again hold shift and alt to scale it up again take it upwards a little and that looks very cool to centralize that you can always click on your horizontal align center centralize this on this page just like what you see here and next thing i'm going to do is to click on my rectangle tool now you don't have to bother about all this extra canvas that goes out of the page but if you want to take that off you can simply click on the logo since it's coming as a jpeg file i can click on my crop image and once you click on crop image you are able to crop the image just like this and apply that looks cool okay so you click on your rectangle tool and create this shape just like this you don't have to bother about the extra that goes out of the page you just have to follow these steps okay so you create this just like that and click on your swatches and if your workspace does not look like mine simply click on windows and click on workspace 
click on essentials classic or you reset essentials classic and everything will look like my own workspace okay so you click on the shape and click on your eyedrop to eyedropper to and you can zoom in we want to pick this blue color here so you use your eyedropper to click on the blue color so it takes the exact same blue color so it matches the brand color just like what we have here you can bring this down a little and that looks cool and when you are designing business card you should be sure of your bleed you should make sure you set your margin and i supposed to do that from the start the easiest way to set your margin is to press ctrl r to activate your rulers then you click and drag and you know your margin size should be at least 0.25 millimeters so without measuring that i can just set this like that so everything i do will be inside this margin okay so this is my safe area okay this is the safe area or safe zone where i'll be designing on okay you can do the same with this back side okay you can just create these imaginary lines but 0 0.25 uh, millimeters okay that looks cool so let's continue designing okay and i'm going to tell you the reason why i had to create this so that at the end of your design if your business card is supposed to be cut it they won't cut off your important information okay we are actually saving the trimming aspect okay so they won't cut off the important information and there'll be enough space around the design so you don't have to design and make your elements to be on the edges of your design so let's continue from here so with my rectangle tool i'm going to create another shape just like this on top of the blue shape and make sure it aligns to the bottom now there is no fill or stroke on this shape that is because there is no fill here and there is no stroke here so i'm going to click on my fill and set it to black okay i'm going to click on my eyedropper tool and pick this black okay it's not 100 percent black just few tones of black and this is what we get okay so you can select this hold shift and select this blue shape and click on vertical align bottom click and it aligns to the bottom here and that looks cool so you can click on the black shape and click on your direct selection tool that is because i want to select this node so you double click on this node and you can see all these other nodes have been deselected so you select only this node hold shift and reason for holding shift is to remain on a straight line so once you double click that click and drag hold shift so you can remain on a straight line like that and you get this angle just like that something that looks like this is very perfect okay that looks cool so let's proceed then i'm going to open up this uh, social media icons file i save this so i can use it anytime for designs i need this icon so i'm going to pick this uh, globe icon that is because i want to set a website then copy that and bring it to your business card and paste that okay you can change the color to white click on swatches and click on white okay close that and hold shift and reduce this this way okay and bring it to this angle here then i can simply copy the website i have on this microsoft document i'll copy the website and bring it to ai click on your text tool and click to activate your text tool and you have something like this then you press ctrl v or command v on your keyboard to paste this website then you change your font i like to use gisha for this gisha and i'm going to leave all the fonts i use for this project in the description and i'm going to leave all the resources as well in the description so you can check it out and make your own design then i'm going to place this just here and make sure it's around um 10 points you know the least font size for business cards should be eight points okay if it's too small seven points but eight points should be perfect but for this since i have enough space here i'm going to leave it at 10 points and set my color to white okay and that looks cool i'm going to place this here i just feel like reducing the size again so i'm going to make it 
nine point and i'm going to adjust the uh tracking so to adjust the tracking you come to where you have your character panel if you can't find your character panel here you press ctrl t on your keyboard to activate your character panel and you will see where you have your tracking here you can click and select the tracking you want i'll leave it at 100 that looks perfect then you can close your character panel then you can bring this backwards again hold shift and bring the shape back to fit that so this is what we get and then we are done with the front design okay so to get the back design done i'm going to click on my rectangle tool and create this shape just like this okay this looks cool and i'm going to give it this blue color as well click on i or you click on your eye drop tool and click on this blue color to get this same blue color just right here and you click on your shape tool again and create another shape just on top of this just like what we did before and this time around i'm going to make it black so you hold on your eye or you click on your eye drop tool and click on this black color to get something that looks like this and you click on your direct selection tool again and double click on this node and hold shift and create this angle just like that then click on the black shape hold shift click on the blue shape and click on vertical align bottom and it aligns to the bottom just like that and this looks very cool and very nice then next thing you're going to do is to create this shape again click on your rectangle tool and create this shape like this just across here very good and click on i on your keyboard and click on your blue shape to get this blue color right here then you can bring this down a little take it down a little hold shift click on your black shape and click on vertical align to center okay that is what we get okay then you can see it shifts on this edge we need this to be on the same edge so you can click on a shape and hold shift click on your black shape and hold alt and click on the black shape again that is to say we want this blue shape to align to the bottom of this black shape so any shape you want to align with the other shape you have to hold alt to click on that particular shape to align with that particular shape let me do that again this is what i mean i click on my blue shape hold shift click on your black shape and hold alt and click on the black shape again because i want my blue shape to align with the black shape then click on vertical align bottom and it aligns to the bottom of this so you can see it aligns with the bottom of the black shape so that is what we get and i'm going to use my pen tool to create this just around here with my pen tool you can press p on your keyboard to activate that then you click on this node and click around here click around here and click on this node again to get this shape and you can click on your color and reduce the black so we have something dark like this reduce the black to 36 uh, percent and that looks cool then you can hold control or command left square bracket to send that to the back okay control or command left square bracket to send it to the back so you get something that looks like that it looks very cool you can click on that and click on e on your keyboard to activate this tool where you have to transform okay then you hold on this bar and return it to the back so we get something like this so i'm going to duplicate this and bring it down here to duplicate this object click on this shape and hold alt and drag bring it to the bottom to duplicate so you see we have two of these so when you hold alt and drag you are able to duplicate objects just like that then here i'm going to reflect this so i'm going to right click and click on transform and click on reflect then i'm going to reflect that horizontally so this is what we get click on ok and we get something like this i'm going to hold shift take it up till this point meets this other point so we get something that looks like this okay that looks perfect exactly what we wanted so next thing i'm going to do is to bring in other informations like my contact 
information I have for this. I'm going to copy all of these, bring it to AI, click on my text tool, and then click here and Control V to paste. Okay, now Adobe Illustrator records your progress or records whatever you did. So it's actually taking the previous text we have set here. Okay, so I'm going to adjust that. I'm going to make my tracking to be zero instead of 100 and it takes the same font nine points but i'm going to change that to eight points and then bring it up here okay i'm going to click on my swatches click on white to give it a white color just like that and i'm going to place this down here then i'm going to ensure everything enters inside this shape okay so if it calls for enlarging the height of this shape i'm going to do that but first let's try this out select mr fix it and adjust your leading to uh, let's leave it at four okay then select um 30 a jelly caliber and adjust your leading also to four let's leave it at four okay let's see what happens here it's not moving let's try that again um change it to uh, four points so this is what we get uh it's not working let's make it four okay perfect so we have the leading here four and the leading here four that is to say we want the element to get closer okay then we're going to take this upwards a little because we want everything to fit inside the shape i'm going to click on this and click and drag to take this upwards but before then i'm going to select with this shape so i'm going to click on my black shape hold shift click on this click on this other shape and hold shift and click on this other tiny shape here then take it upwards so it fits what we have here exactly what we want okay that is it then i'm going to take this up a little you can simply use your arrow key tap that upwards then you can see this blue shape is no more aligned with the black shape so i'm going to align that again click on the blue shape hold shift click on the black shape hold alt click on the black shape again click on vertical align bottom and it aligns to the bottom just like that and i'm going to use my line tool to create these lines just to divide these contact details hold shift to create these lines just like that so you can remain on a straight line when you hold shift and you can see the line is not showing there okay that is because we have no stroke color here so i'm going to click on my stroke to bring it to the top and click on white okay so we have a white stroke here and our stroke size is one point just as what you see here so you can close that and hold and you can simply tap your arrow key to bring that below hold alt and hold shift to remain on a straight line and bring that down here and duplicate so when you hold alt you are able to duplicate objects just as what you can see here then i'm going to bring some icons for these contact details first i'm going to select my phone icon here and i'm going to select my web icon as well and i'm going to select my location icon as well so i'm going to select all and copy bring it to my file where i have this business card you can reduce the size all together and bring it just right here change the color to white and okay it's changing the stroke color that is because our stroke is on the top so i'm going to click on none click on our view and click on white so this is what we get then i'm going to take this right here you can increase the size a little and place the phone icon here there's the location icon here and the web icon here then you can select all these icons and click on horizontal align center to centralize that that looks cool so once that is done we are done with the contact details and i'm going to click on this blue shape hold alt hold shift take it up to the top like that and it duplicates itself to the top so i'm going to hold on this angle take it up to get something like this okay this looks cool and very nice then i'm going to click on mr fix it and click and drag to duplicate that and place here 
then hold shift to reduce this size and place around here so we get something that looks like that and i'm going to select this and copy and bring it to adobe illustrator click on your text tool and click here and paste so we get something like this set your tracking to auto and this looks okay with your text tool highlight maurice nelson and change your um change your font style to bold and you can select creative director and reduce the font size to seven that is what we get then you can place it around here something like that looks cool you can enlarge that a little okay that looks cool and very nice so with that we are almost done with the design then i'm going to bring in this uh, qr code i have here and i'm going to reduce the size we're going to click on embed since it comes as a jpeg file then hold alt and shift and reduce the size evenly like that and reduce it again place it just right here so once that is done i'm going to uh, take off all these lines select highlight the ruler lines highlight this again delete so that is just it so we're going to select everything here and press ctrl g select everything here and press ctrl g and then we're going to create a shape around this click on your shape to create this shape just like that and make sure the shape is exactly the size of your canvas that is 3.5 inches by 2 and once you set that shape on top you hold shift and select this and press ctrl 7 okay that is to say we are able to um we are able to power clip or clip everything we have grouped into that shape so we're going to do the same thing to this remember we have grouped everything we have done here click on your rectangle tool and create this shape on the same canvas size 3.5 by 2 inch and once you do that click on the group and click on the shape you just created and press ctrl 7 and that is how to take off all the extra edges so we are done with that and pretty much this is how to design a simple business card with adobe illustrator to learn how to make a scannable qr code just like the one i used on this business card click on this video and continue watching thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video peace